Welcome back. This is part two of our wee video tutorial. In part one, you hopefully figured out how to record within wee video and then take that little bit that you recorded and make it into two separate pieces and insert something in between those two pieces. Maybe you brought in something from your computer already by importing, or you just made another recording of yourself and stuck it in there. However that worked for you, that's great. This time from Canvas, you're gonna go into your Wii video. It's gonna be a little bit different this time because you should be able to go right into projects and then you gotta start double clicking on things. Now, you might only have one thing to choose from. It might not be quite as busy as mine, but we're gonna find that same video we were working on. Here it is. So if you remember, I had a video of me, I cut it and I put in two llamas, pictures of llamas, and we are going to go in now and add text. So if this was my weather project, I might want a intro, and to make an intro, you go up here to the top and you click on text. In text, there are so many things to choose from. We could do just a static text, which means it's just going to stay still. It's not going to move, but you can make it move. So if we click on that and I wanna drag it down and put it at the beginning, I didn't leave any room here, but just like what we did before, if I drag this down and I put it here and it turns yellow, that means it's gonna give me two options, either trim to fit or insert and push. If I insert and push, it's gonna push everything over and let this fit in there. The way you get it to say something besides sample text is to double click on it. And then you can change it. Let's say I wanna say, Mother. And then I can change the text. I can go in here and I can choose from all these different types of fonts and things. Let's see. Let's do secret typewriter. There. Weather. I can make it bold. I can put it in italics. I can underline it. I can change the color. Oh, let's see here. Let's try yellow. There. Then I can also change the size of it by sliding this back and forth. I can make it bigger or smaller. And this is where you can then get fancy. I can just save it like this. And when I click play, it's just gonna stay there, but I can make it move. This is where it gets fun. If you double click on it again, and this time go up here, instead of the little speech bubble, I'm gonna click on these rectangles. Mm -hmm. Where it starts, if I want this to, let's say, go from this side and I want it to end up on the other side, when I go to end, I drag it to where I want it to end. And then I save this. Now let's see what it looks like when we play it from the beginning. Well, look at that. It moves. That's pretty fun. I like that. But you don't have to work so hard. If you want to do something even more exciting, when you click on motion, you have all these different things you can choose. When you click on them, it'll show you what it'll look like. That's what that looks like. That one. And then these are the ones I usually use for my videos. A little more exciting. So, so many you can choose from. Some of them are really bright and loud and fun. And other ones are pretty simple. Let's go ahead. I like this one. We're going to choose this one. And I need to get rid of the one that I've got in there. So I'm going to take this and click on it and I can either click the little trash can or drag it and throw it up there. All right, so let's use this one. I'm going to pull this down here, drag it down and then double click on it. And I'm going to change what it says. This is her. Okay, and then I can change the font of it if I want each one. I'm going to just go to the first one. If I want to change the size, I have to go over here to manual, click on manual, and then I can make it bigger or smaller. However, I want to do that. Color, you can change the color. So maybe I'll have this be red and the background be black because hawks, Heatherwood hawks. The other thing you can do, if you click on these little sliders here, Lots of options. You can make the words bigger, smaller. You can flip them. You can also reverse them. 
You can make them upside down. So many options, so much fun. I'm gonna save my changes. I'm gonna leave it at that. And then I'm gonna close this back up here. Now, when I put these all back together and start this from the beginning, there you go. And you're going to say, hey. There you go. So now you have your intro and your video. Now, what about end credits? What if I want to put something at the end? So if you are working in a group and you all want credit for this, you could go here to static and you could click on end credits. If you drag that over there, double click on it, then you can change everything that's in here. It doesn't have to say directed by or name. You can completely change that. You could say starring. And then you could put the names of everybody who's in it. Okay, that's pretty fun. Again, you can change the font. You can change the size. You could change it to be bold. And if you want it to be rolling credits, click here, put this where you want it to start. So I'm going to drag it down. I want it to roll up just like in the movies. When I click end, I drag the whole thing up and then I'm going to save those changes. And here's what it'll look like when it's played. All right. Very good. So now we have an intro and an outro text. What if I wanted to put text over, let's say for each person that's playing their part, maybe you want to put their name on it. What you can do for that is take one of these texts and pull it down to video two. In video two, it's going to appear in front of whatever video one is. If I double click on that, and write what I want it to say. Maybe it's gonna be breaking news. Okay, and then I can move this. I could change the font. I could change the size. Maybe I just want it to fit right there so it's easier to see. Okay. There's so much more you could do with this, but let's see if this is just, we're just gonna leave it basic. Let's leave this basic. All right, so you could play this from beginning to end. I could add here over the llamas, and I could say, I could make this say llamas. Oops. Okay. Put that maybe up in the sky here. Llamas. Say that so now we know those are actually llamas. If the text is too long because I just want it to be over the llamas, if I have this highlighted and these arrows here, I can drag it so it's only over the llamas. That's adding text. Hopefully you found that simple. Go try it yourself now and I will see you back here for part three.